guys welcome back to my channel and today i have a really special video for you guys so if you want to see all about the build your own sticker book stick around because that's coming up right now on that pixie planner life Hey guys, welcome back and today I am going to be talking to you guys about the Create Your Own sticker book that came in the Happy Planner Pressed Florals bundle and I am really excited. This video was totally 100% 100% inspired by Happy to Plan with Desiree. She is someone that I watch on a consistent basis. She is part of the Happy Planner squad. And like her, I have a ton of colorful box sticker books. And these are just the basic ones. Oh, hold on. I missed one. These are just the original ones. I actually have other ones as well. It's it's pretty bad. I have no idea how many I'm going to be able to fit in this, but my goal for today is to at least get the originals all combined and put into this one sticker book. I cannot believe how many colorful boxes books I have, and believe it or not, you guys, I use them a lot. I end up with like specific colors missing in a lot of the books because I use a lot of that color such as black and pink and I'm just really excited to like pull everything out and put everything together so my plan is I am going to combine all the silvers together all of the golds all of the blacks this is my newest one so most of the stickers are still in here all of the purples and blues and then all of the reds and pinks and then all of the greens and teals. So that is my plan. I'm going to open this up so you guys can see what it is and how it works. I know that these have kind of been all over the planner community right now. So I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, but I'm also sure some of you have not. So I want to look at it really quick with you guys. Clearly this is the first time I'm taking it out of its package. And you get this little elastic just like you would with any other color with any other sticker book. And the reason why I love this is if you guys can see there is a white spot right here for you to label. Now I have like the sticker labels as well. I have like a ton of them. So I'm not sure how well that the pen will write on this. I may just put a label sticker over that because it's easier to write on the stickers. Um, but then you also have this empty spot right here to put whatever the sticker book that you're creating is. So clearly this is going to be my new colorful boxes sticker book and I'm going to attempt to write that on there. But I am really excited to be having to combine these. And then you open it and it actually comes with this little sticker sheet. So there's clear, like pinky clear stickers on here. I love squaggles, so I'm excited for that. And basically it's a screw and you kind of just push this down and you open it up and this comes off. So now you've got the little screw. <laughs> And you literally can pull this off and this off just adds the spacing. And this is what the inside back of the sticker book looks like. And you have this tall piece sticking out right here and that's where all of your stickers go. I believe this fits up to 50 sticker sheets. Yes, so I don't know if you guys can read that. Holds up to 50 sticker sheets. I have no idea if all of these are going to fit in here. Most likely they will not. <laughs> I have a ton as I just showed you guys. So I highly doubt that they're all going to fit. I am going to set, uh, set this sticker sheet aside. And I think what I first want to do is label this. So, so I have this Sharpie pen and it is a brush pen. And I think I'm just going to 
right in colorful boxes and hopefully it looks okay. So definitely not my best work. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard. It, it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like that, like, you know, when you try to write on like a shiny surface and it ends up with that like glossy watercolor type look, that's kind of what happened here. Um, hopefully it dries okay. It is a Sharpie pen, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it dries. But so far, I'm not really liking that look. I could go back and put some stickers on it and just use letter stickers to write colorful boxes. But let's see how that dries first. I'm not going to put anything up top because I want to get my sticker labels and put that there. So now... We are going to open this up and I'm going to start pulling apart my sheets. I think there are about 30 sheets in this. Yeah, there's 30 sheets in these books. So most likely what's gonna happen is I'll fit, probably get two on here. Doesn't give me much leeway. But I think because this one is my newest one and I haven't used many stickers in this one yet, I'm gonna put this one off to the side because it's still really full. And I'm gonna focus on combining my more used books. So I am going to speed you guys up to some music while I set this up and put this together. And then I'll be back at the end to show you what it looks like.
All right, you guys, I'm just checking in with you. So I've gone through two sticker books so far. I still have four left, but I think I'm gonna start putting some of these in. I think I might build upon my black a little bit because those are the ones I use the most and there's really not that many there. So I think I'm gonna start building this, go through one more sticker book to check out blacks and then finish it off with the other three colors and we'll see how full I am. And then I'll let you know how many sticker sheets are actually in there because I'm gonna get as many as I possibly can in there because that's just how I roll. <laughs> Okay, you guys so I've filled up with everything that I've had it's basically two sticker books and honestly like I could fit way more in there so for sheet wise there is okay so there's actually 40 sheets here which explains why there's still a little bit of room so I can get at least 10 more sheets in here so I'm actually gonna go through and add one more sticker book to this and I think that should fill it up so let's do that Okay, so that sticker book was actually really full <laughs> besides the black. So I'm gonna see how I can make out here. I'm not sure. So these are the blues. Oh, got that one. I've got three sheets of those. Like that's the only one of that one, so we can add that in. I've got lots of these sizes. I need to use that size more. I don't know why I don't. And then we've got this one, and we've got that one. I can't really combine that. Okay, so these are all the blues. I'm just gonna set that right there. All right, and then next we have pinks and reds. I'm just trying to see if I can combine any of these, but it doesn't look like I can quite a bit. Like I said, that book that I just pulled apart was actually fairly full. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna fill up pretty fast. I hope I don't overfill it now, <laughs> cause that would stink. All right, and then we've got blues and purples. This is gonna be so nice, you guys, when they're all together because like I'm constantly, oops. I'm constantly flipping through like a million of these books when I'm planning. And it's gonna be so nice to have them all in one space. Let's see, can I combine this one? One, two, three, four. No, not really. Okay. So those are going to have to go together. And then those. I have a lot of those. Okay. Looks like I need to plan with more blues and purples. And then we've got two full pages of that. All right. 
So that's those three colors. And then I have the blacks, which I was trying to see if I had, I don't have many of these. I feel like I need to find another sticker book with those in it. Cause I use those constantly. All right, so here's one. Can you guys see how faded? I'm like cutting all of my tie bands off. I just want to show you guys this for a second. Look at this. Look at how faded these are compared to these. I'm actually just going to throw these out because I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're faded and they have like this weird line through it. I just don't think it printed right. So I'm just going to throw this sticker sheet away and replace it with that one. I have a lot of wax in this book, which is kind of nice. I might try and see if I can add them because I use the black ones the most and it would be nice if if I had a lot of these in here because they're what I use more than anything else. So like black is kind of like my top priority to have in this. So like I pulled the sheet out. So let's add that one in there too. And then let's add that one in. And I think that was it. Do I have enough of these in here? Because I use these a lot too. Now let's add this one in too. Okay. All right. So now we're on to gold and it looks like I can, I can combine these. It's going to take me a couple minutes. So let's get these on. So I know that there's not a lot of people that are fans of the foil boxes, but I actually really like them, especially the gold. I don't use the silver ones as much, but I actually use the gold ones quite a bit. So it's nice to, it's nice to have the variety for sure. And that's why I'm doing my best to like see these. Like I know some of you will probably go through this and be like, okay, whichever ones I don't use are the ones I'm not keeping. You know what I mean? Which is great. Like if there are specific colors that you don't, that you don't use, like that you don't like, like you could just toss those pages or specific sizes. Like maybe you don't use the tiny ones. Maybe you don't use the really big ones. This is kind of the perfect opportunity to go through and do that. But you can see I have quite a bit of the silver ones just because I don't use them as often, but I still use them. And that's why I think like, I think that's why I was thinking I wanna have mostly black in here. And I may go back in like at another time and use like go through and like take out the sheets that I have more than two in and then do mostly black. Like have all of my black in the book. I'm not gonna do that today with you guys cause that'll be super time consuming, but that's just another thought that you could do. You know what I mean? Okay. So I feel like I have way more than I should now. So we need to add it to the foils. So let's take the black out since I have a lot of that now. And let's see if we can get all these in. This is so nice because I feel like it helps you go through and see what you really, like you really actually have. And then you can be like, okay, Am I really gonna use five sheets of that? No, no, I'm really not. 
And that's what's kind of nice about this process. But I'll do that afterwards. All right, so that's the goal. So let's combine the silver and then we can get all the other colors back in. So we've got one, two, three sheets of those. I should have three to four sheets of everything, I think. And I think four is probably overdoing it. So if there's ones where I have like four, probably not, I'll probably go back in and reorganize again after. But this is just to kind of show you guys my process and what my plan was for this. I feel like this video is taking longer than I originally wanted it to, but that's because that's how my brain works. All right, now that all the, the colors are combined, let's just stack them and see how many we can fit. Like already, these aren't gonna fit because I have way too many of the foils. And then we've got purple. Yeah, like you can see, it's way too much. It's not gonna all fit. It's not gonna all fit. Red. That would probably be the furthest you could go right there. Like, I don't even have any of my blues in. But just so you can see, And you want to leave yeah that would be like that is the perfect amount however many that is is what you need so clearly this isn't going to work because i i have no blues and teals in there and greens at all so i need to go back in i i have a i have a ton of foils in there and i really don't need that many foils so i think i need to go in and fix that but i will tell you right now there is there's actually 60 sheets in here, so you could squeeze in an extra 10 sheets. So just to just so you guys know, like that's basically what it'll look like. And this is perfect for this specific purpose. So if you have like a ton of one sticker book, this would be great. Um, I another idea that I actually had for these were for my Disney sticker books. Um, if they sell this separately, I'll probably buy like another one or two of them so I can combine those and I do have other colorful boxes as well as a lot of squad, <laughs> squad stickers. So it'd be nice to have a book with all of my squad goals in it. I am going to finish fixing this and organizing it and then I'll be back
you guys. I am all organized and besides the fact that you can see dust. <laughs> I think this is going to work really great. I need more. <laughs> I still have four books. So I got it down from seven. So that's good. Um, I was able to get rid of three of the books that I had. I say get rid of, but really they're in here. So you've got basically two sheets of every of every sheet. So I've got like two of those, two of those, two, two of each in each color. Silver, gold, black, the pinks, I mean the purples and blues, the pinks and reds, and then the blues and the teals and greens. And the way that you can like take these off is all you need to do is just spin them like this. So if there's a certain color you want, like say I want a black box, I flip to the blacks and say I want a regular full box. I would just spin it and it literally can spin all the way around and then you can get whatever sticker it is you want. So the concept is really, really great. I think that whoever came up with this idea is probably one of like the best ideas they've come out with recently since Stephanie stepped down. And I'm really hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that they come out with this to buy separately on its own because I definitely want to get at least three. I want to buy at least three. I have a sticker storage box that sits on my desk where I plan and do my videos where I keep all of my most used sticker books. And that's basically where my Disney stickers sit and my colorful boxes sit. And it would be great to just have these in there. That would be like fantastic because it would take up so much less room. So I think it's a genius idea. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to invest in these, if they come out with them by itself. Um, so, so just so you know, it did not dry. <laughs> I had smudged it earlier and I was like, oh no, it definitely didn't work. So I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to throw a sticker over it and I'm going to write over it. It's, it's fine. But I just wanted you guys to know that writing on that is not going to work unless you have like a really, really fantastic pen that will stick to that. That was a Sharpie and it didn't do anything. So just wanted you guys to know. But that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I know it was something different. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So that way you can stay on track with all my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Happy planning and stay magical. Bye.